Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Today, we're gonna look at how you can add your trail on Trail Forks so that anyone online can go find it on the Trail Forks app and hopefully ride your trail without getting lost. So, without further ado, let's do this tutorial. Okay, so let's start by going to the Trail Forks website on your computer. And uh, from there, we can click on the More tab and you go to Contribute. It's this yellow tab. From this page, you can add anything you want from photos to points of interest to events. But in today's video, we're gonna focus on adding a trail. Problem is, if you just click over here, it just throws you on an entirely random map and you have to go find your location. So for me, once I want to contribute to Trail Forks page, I go to Trails and I have added my region as a favorite. For you to add yours as a favorite, you can just go add regions to a favorite list and then search your region and type it in and add it. So click on that and I'll go to my region. This should take you to this map. Now, to make sure that you are in the proper riding location, you can see up here I'm in Lesudu, it goes forward, I'm in Mafateng District, I go to Malayalaya and then I go to Malayalaya Valley Trails which is the riding area. So we have the country, we have the, the state or in our case the district, we have this the, the city, and then we have the riding area. From here, you can play around and you can add your trails. Before you do anything, go to activity type and make sure mountain biking is selected. And now you can go over to this add slash edit tab and you can select add trail. This takes you to this page where you can add a trail. Now there are four different ways to add a trail. The first is by uploading a GPS file. The second is by actually drawing it on the map clicking with your mouse one point at a time. And then the third and fourth are importing rides, both from Strava or if you use the Trail Forks app, you can import a ride log. Drawing a trail on the map is best for roads because they are wide and you can see them clearly. So if you do choose to draw it, this is what it would look like. I would switch a satellite and I would just go and add one point at a time. But that's not what we're doing. For the majority of the people, they probably want to import a Strava ride. So, if you've linked up your Strava before, it will just pop up like this really easy. And this is the ride I want to choose. And you can go. It then throws you to this page. Now, most likely, you didn't just ride the trail and then stop by the end. So, the problem is, you have to actually choose the section of trail. In order to do that, you go over to this tab called Crop. You are then presented with these two green tabs that you can drag and this helps you choose uh, which section you actually want to keep. The yellow is the part that you keep, the red is the part that will be deleted. For me, I actually really prefer using Google Satellite, so if you go up here, you can select Google Satellite and that just kind of helps decide where you want to cut it off. Now, if you want to get really precise, there is a way to access a 3D map in Trail Forks. In order to access a 3D map, Go back to the start where you are in your writing area before you went to add trail. Go to the tab that says more and way at the bottom you will see 3D map. Now I use the 3D map to determine exactly where I need to cut off the trail and I find it is actually extremely helpful. So this is the trail that I want to add and I can see it going across the mountain. And this is actually a road that we climbed on. So I know the trail starts right about here. And just using this 3D map kind of helps me decide exactly where I'm going to crop it because I can go between it and see there's the houses. Once again, here we have the houses and it just kind of helps a bit with deciding exactly where to crop this. This doesn't have to be super precise as we're still going to edit this in a bit. So now we have this section of trail. Before we go any further, I do want to say that if anyone wants to take this a bit more seriously, please go over here to this tab that says instructions and download this PDF document which will explain everything to you. And then one final thing is trails are not routes or rides and that, that just means that you're simply adding a short section. If it's single track then the section you add has to be entirely single track. You can't add one massive trail that's going between single track and double track and it even includes the climb up to the top. This is just one short section of trail. A route is where you would tell the rider to climb up this road, use this piece of single track, connect with this road and then go back on with this single track. All we're doing here is adding one piece of single track. 
Now, as you can tell, there's a bit of a mess going on here. So you can go over here to this tab and click edit track. And this is where I like to make it full screen. And as you can see, there's a big mess because we were filming and sessioning some of these stuff. If you wish to delete one of these white dots, you can simply click on it. Now, these gray dots become a white dot as soon as you touch it and drag it. So if you wish to add a million little dots, you just keep on going to these gray dots which present themselves in the middle and you can just keep on adding more. And then once again, click on the white dots and they delete themselves. So all I'm gonna do over here is just go through, click on one white dot at a time. Okay, so we've cleaned up this section. Now the problem is, as you can see, we went over here, but the actual trail goes down this rock garden and then connects over here. So all I'm gonna once again do is delete all these white dots. Now I've cleaned this entire section up, but obviously the trail goes over here. So all I need to do is whenever I want a new dot, I go over to this gray dot and drag it and I get a new dot. Drag it, new dot, drag it, new dot. And as you can now see, the trail is following the correct line. And then finally, what I like to do is just make sure that it ends exactly where it needs to end. So I'll drag the final white dot exactly to where the road starts and you'll see it even snaps to it. You can then hit the tab that says close track edit and it is now ready. From here on out, all you have to do is fill out all this information. So let's talk about this for a bit. In our case, this is a multi-use trail, which means you can't choose any of these specifically, but you can still choose which activities are allowed. So if you don't want dirt bikes, you don't have to check that. In our case, horses are on this trail and we don't mind e-bikes at all. Then enter in your country, your sub-region, uh, and your city and your riding area. Normally, if you've done this correctly and you were in the correct spot on the map, this is already filled in and ready to go. Now, for example, if I use a trail name that already exists, this thing will pop up and it warns me that this already exists. So I can just add a number that doesn't exist. Now, over here we have the difficulty. Most of you guys already know how this works, but there's a couple new things for trail forks. We've got extremely difficult, that's double black, we got single black, we got blue, we got green, and then we got white. But Trail Forks has added purple, which is a road. So as you can see, if I go back to our map, here we got a purple line, and that purple line is a gravel road. This is important for riders because this informs them on how they can access a trail. Go all the way over to the other side and you'll see it says trail surface type. And there are a bunch of options. In this case, it is single track. Now, if it's single track, you are allowed to choose any of the following options from the green circle down to the pros only line. If it is not one of these, if it is not single track, it cannot be that. It has to be white or an access road. But like I said, today we're focusing on adding trails, so it's likely single track. In our case, I would rate this as a blue. As for directions, it goes both ways. And then this is a really cool feature. You can map out the climb difficulty. This is a blue. And you can tell the rider what the physical rating is. You have easy, moderate, hard, and extreme. In this case, it is easy. And this just helps the rider make their choice of whether they want to even ride this trail. Trail visibility, always easy to follow. If you want to add this as a hiking trail too, you can give it a difficulty rating that is related to hiking. You can suggest which bikes you would recommend. In general, the more details there are, the better it is for the rider so they can find their way around. You can let them know what features there are. In this case, we just have a rock garden because it's natural single track. If you keep on scrolling down, there is a description. This part is important. It helps rider tons. This is a part that I'm still not that good at, but if you go into the description, you will find a link to a document which gives you an example of what the perfect description on Trail Forks looks like. We have access info, which is basically just instructions on uh, how you can find this trail. And then there is a disclaimer. It's important to use a disclaimer for any information that you don't want someone to miss because this is the way it appears and hopefully that means no one misses the important information. From here you can add the land manager and you can add a website. 
you can add a trail association. In this case, it is raw adventures. And oftentimes there's more than just one person involved on this trail. So you don't just have the option of adding a trail association. You can also add sponsors, builders and maintainers. A lot of these things are optional, but you might find them really important in your case. And then finally, I would just suggest that you double check everything. And if it looks all good, go all the way down and hit submit. And as you can see, there is the trail we just added. If you are not an admin, your trail will have to be voted. There is a voting system or an admin will have to approve it. As always guys, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you and uh, I will see you all next week. Woo!